Hi, this is Dr. Pichenik, and on this Memorial Day, I want to wish all of you a happy, healthy uh, Memorial Day, but most importantly, we pay tribute to those men and women who died in previous wars. Equally important is something very new. Our war is a new kind of war, and thanks to Trump, who's given us billions of dollars, we're going into space. So the future of Memorial Day and all of our wars will be in space, cyber command, artificial intelligence. But I want you people to keep the following date. May 27th, 4.33 p.m., we are going to launch out of Titusville. NASA will launch our first American-made rocket with American astronauts from an American soil built by an American company. That's four different elements of America going into space. And the two great astronauts who are uh, going to guide this missile is, are basically Benkin, who is from Caltech, had a master's degree, a PhD in engineering, has been an astronaut for 20 years, went into the s space twice, and his partner, Hurley, who is a marine fighter pilot, also got a degree at Tulane and also has been in space twice. Both of them have been partners for 20 years. Now, why do I say this is important? Because this is the future where America has to go. Forget kinetic energy. Forget combat on land, sea, and air. We are now going into the space, and we're going to have a space warfare capacity, but also a commercial space capacity, thanks to people like Elon Musk and Donald Trump, the businessman. Let me explain something about Elon Musk. I don't know the individual, but I know quite a lot about his background. He's from South Africa, particularly from Afrikaans, or what we call the Dutch reformist movement in Pretoria. The Pretorian and the South Africans and the Musks have been there in South Africa for 350 years. He came to Canada and to the United States as a teenager and knew that he wanted to be a serial entrepreneur. Like me, he created a bunch of companies. Unlike me, he was successful in creating some major companies, including Tesla and SpaceX. This is a tribute to the American spirit of entrepreneurship. If you want to know the one thing that I believe most importantly about our country is the fact that we, people like myself, Elon Musk, and everyday people can make mistakes. We can take risks. We can have a belief in a system. And then when we take a risk, we create that company. Despite the fact that the company may go under, we still go on to the next company. That's called serial entrepreneur. And thanks to people like Elon Musk and thanks to the astronauts who are willing to go into space and sacrifice their life, quite frankly, these are the possibilities that the America has in its future. Particularly, we want to thank Trump. For the past 10 to 20 years, we have had very little funding, if no funding whatsoever, for the space program. In particular, Obama cut it back in order to provide money for some other programs. What was important was Trump understood that we have to get into space quickly. The reason for that is because China has already sent over four to five satellites into space, and we have a new kind of space warfare. It's satellite space warfare. We're not sending these astronauts to have space warfare. We're sending the astronauts to have a business capacity on the International Space Station so that we can work with the Russians. But again, I want you to think of something that was unbelievable for me. For 20 years, the Russians have been making the missiles that we used, and we used it out of Kazakhstan. For the first time, we have an American missile going into space. God bless our country. Thank you and good night.